Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to stand up. <laughs> we must continue to do this. We must continue to set the record straight. Stop the lies. Stop the narratives. We must continue to do this. And I want to thank you guys, man, for real. Everybody out there, everybody across the world, everybody across the states, man, that's been supporting my channel. My channel is only here because of y'all, man. For real, man. Much respect to everybody out there, man. You guys know the deal. Shout out to everybody in the membership, man. Ken S., James Williams, man. Liz's Lounge, Health, Dental, and Life. Shout out to everybody, man, for real. Thank you guys, man. And in this video, we're going to speak about Michael Jordan. But not just Michael Jordan. We're going to also speak about this idea or the idea <laughs> that we grew up remembering, right? The sense of pride that players used to have back in the day, man, playing 82 games or trying to play 82 games, right? Really trying to be out there every single game, right? For love of the game, for the fans, for a sense of purpose, we're going to talk about that in this video, guys. You know the deal, man, because a lot of times now, man, that, 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 that sense is gone. That feeling, so to speak, right? It ain't there no more. Guys don't take pride in playing 82 games or attempting to play 82 games. They're always looking for the easy way out, man. They're looking for a shortcut. You know the deal, guys. We're going to talk about that in this video, man, and you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. <laughs> Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, that's right, man. Listen, many, many times when I talk to you guys on this channel, what do you often hear me say? You'll often hear me say the phrase, show up to work. You'll often hear me say that, right? You'll often hear me say, these guys don't want to show up to work. And what I'm often alluding to is this notion that these days, guys don't really want to go out there, right? They don't really want to be out there every single night. They seem to lack that heart we talk about, right? That heart. They seem to lack that grit, the toughness. They often seem like they want to play as little games as possible, right? They don't really want to be out there for the 82 games. And why is that a big deal? Why does that bother us, right? The true NBA fans, man, the true basketball fans, you guys understand that back in the day, and I hate to say back in the day, but back in the day, you saw, you saw it on the video footage that it mattered to these guys to be out there, right? For whatever the reasons were, they wanted to be out there. And we always appreciated that, the hustle, the effort that these men gave. I tell you guys oftentimes on this video, man, on, on this channel, that you can see the effort on the video footage it shows up when we were kids growing up and you would hear the announcers talking about the players and you're sitting there watching a game in the playoffs, right? What would they often tell you? You can feel the intensity, right? You can feel it through the TV. You can feel it. These guys wanted to be out there. 82 games a season. When we talk about Michael Jordan, man, and we bring up him playing 82 games a season, right, many, many times in his career. Sometimes people will make it seem like it's not a big deal. Oh, who cares? What does that matter? You know, blah, blah, blah. They downplay it. But once again, they're missing the point and the reality of why Michael Jordan played 82 games so many times. So many times. Why so many times he was there when he was dealing with an injury, maybe dealing with a personal problem, whatever the case may be, Michael Jordan was still there. He was there, right? For the Chicago Bulls, for his teammates, right? For the city, for the people to do his job, to show up to work and put in the work. These days, that's not really going on like it used to, right? Like I said, because it wasn't just Michael Jordan, right? Many players felt that same sense 
that they wanted to be out there as often as possible. They wanted to be out there. Right? And when they out was and when they were out there, you could see the effort they were given. They weren't going through the motions, lollygagging. This is called being a competitor, a true competitor. But more importantly, what does that point to? What does that highlight for these players that I grew up watching, that we grew up watching? It highlights something much, much more important, guys. What that highlights is the love of the game. That's what that shows that these players had. And a love of the game has, yo, these days, the, the quote unquote fans of this NBA, the people who will tear down the 90s and the other eras, right? And they'll say these guys didn't play basketball and they weren't this, or they weren't that, right? These fans, quote unquote fans, they don't care about a love of the game. When you bring up something like a love of the game, they don't value that love of the game. They talk about these guys' money, their brands, these players protecting themselves. Yeah, why would they have to play? Why would they go out there and play 82 games a season? They don't have to play 82 games. They could play 60. These are things these people say. Trust me, guys, I'm not lying. I've had these conversations with these people. These are things that they'll say. This is what these fans are more interested in. These guys as people. It's personal. They like them because they're famous and they have money. They don't like them because of what they're doing on the basketball court necessarily, what's going on on the court necessarily. So they don't care when they play 50 games or 55 games. And they're lollygagging when they're in there. Load managing at its finest, flopping around, not being true competitors. Not showing a true love of the game. Sometimes when you hear some of these people talk about these players, they keep forgetting this. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're alluding to when we point out the fact that a lot of these guys back in the day, right, a Michael Jordan would play 82 games for a reason. There was a reason why he did that. That wasn't a coincidence. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, Michael Jordan just happened to play, you know, 82 games a season, you know, nine times or eight times, whatever it was. That wasn't an accident. Nothing that happened in Michael Jordan's career or a lot of the all-time great careers, like I said, these guys who are going out there giving the effort, right, who wanted to be out there for 82 games, who tried to play 82 games, right? They weren't trying not to play 82 games. That's what's going on now, today. These guys are able-bodied. They're not injured. There's nothing wrong with them. And yet they're in and out of games for no reason. Because they don't love the game of basketball like that. What they love is what they get from the game of basketball, guys. And it's glaringly obvious. They expose themselves. They're more interested and concerned with what they're getting from the game. The money. The fame. That's all it's about for them. It's not about the love of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the love of the game. And that's why we get mad about this stuff. That's why the 82 games matters. Once again, it's not just about playing the 82 games. Yes, plays in NBA's history, right? The all-time greats. Yes, not every player has played 82 games per se. What we're talking about is your one-two. Trying to to play the 82. Attempting. Playing 78, 79, 80, 77, 75, 73. These guys this, in, this, in this era, they're barely playing 65 games. They had to come out with a new rule to make these guys play a certain amount of games. This is when the errors get exposed. Don't you guys see this, man? The people who keep telling us this is the greatest era, they didn't have to tell Michael Jordan and his contemporaries, all the other greats that I've watched, even just the regular players, just the everyday guys. I mean, they showed to work. Right? They signed the contracts. They know the deal. You won't be a grown man. You're going to sign a contract. Then you have to own up to it, man. However you felt slotted by the contract, maybe you feel cheated. Maybe you made a mistake. Maybe they're not valuing you, that you like you should. But once you sign that line, man, 
then damn it, you got to show up. You got to show up to work. You can't be faking injuries because what does that do? What does that show that real everyday people who support you, who support the NBA? Remember, the players make the game. The people, the fans make the league. There's no game without the players and there's no NBA without the fans. If there's no one watching the games, right? If there's no money to be made, there's no NBA. The players can go play a game anywhere. Absolutely. They make the game. We make the league, y'all. We do this. So if that's the case, when you're talking about the everyday person, the fan, and you're complaining about you're not making enough money or you're faking injuries, you're sitting out games, you're doing the bare minimum. What does that say to other people? The everyday people who if they don't show up to work, they don't get paid. They got to show up. Right? That's a commitment you have as a man. You're working a job. If you don't want to do it, then leave the job. Bounce. Don't make it about you're the victim. The victim mentality, once again. These guys are not making enough. They're not getting enough. They're playing too much. These guys literally were trying to get the NBA season shortened. You guys remember that a couple of seasons ago? Oh, I think they're playing too many games. You had the media, these cornballs in the media. This is why they have no integrity. Guys are lame, man. Soft, sensey, punk, these punk dudes, man. They're trying to push that agenda. The players, they're playing too many games. You have players crying about this stuff. Are you kidding me? Y'all are supposed to be the most skilled, most athletic, bigger, stronger, faster. You have all the advantages over all the other errors. And you guys can't play 82 games? But they could play 80 games in the 60s? They could play 80 games in the 70s? What are we talking about here? If anything, y'all should be playing 100 games. They should have upped it. You got to be kidding me right now. Bunch of punk-ass dudes, man. For real. This is what we're talking about. There's no love of the game there. Show up to work. Michael Jordan showed up, man. What did Michael Jordan say? What'd he say? I never knew if there was going to be somebody in the stands that never saw me play, that got a chance to see me. So I wanted to make sure I went out there every night and I put on a show for these people. I mean, my goodness. That literally speaks to him showing up for the people. Literally. He showed up to work, Michael Jordan. You don't have to worry about him punching the clock. He was going to show up and he was going to put in the effort. I told you it's about the effort, man. You got to give the effort. You got to want to be out there. These guys back in the day, they took pride in playing 82 games, 80 games, being out there every night, competing, hustling. They wanted to compete. They wanted to play ball. What are we talking about in this chat? I've told you guys in the past. I'm about the love of the game. I'm 43 years old. I've been playing in rec leagues, 35 and up rec leagues for years now, guys. And I tell you what, the next day, I'm in a lot of pain, man. I'm hurt. No joke. I'm into fitness. I'm into health. I'm in good shape for a 43-year-old person, guys. But the next day, my back will be on fire. Right? My ankles might be real sore. But you know what? I deal with those things. Right? I recover from that, and I come back, and I do it again. You know why I do that? Not because I'm crazy like my wife says. Why are you going to keep doing this to yourself? She said to me. And you know what I tell her? <laughs> because I love playing basketball, man. I just love playing basketball, y'all. However that makes me feel, it doesn't matter. I'll put up with the pain for a day or two, the back hurting, all of these things, guys. Because I love to play basketball. No one's paying me to do this. My wife's telling me to stop. But I love the game. You know what I'm saying? You guys understand? You guys feel me, man? And that's what I always felt when I watched these guys back in the day. I felt like they were out there because they loved to play basketball, man. It didn't matter. They were hurting. These guys... In this era, I always feel as if they don't want to really play unless they're really, really feeling good. 
They got to be above 95, 97% to really go out there and give it a go. If they're 80, 75%, they're not going. They're not going to do it. Because what are they thinking now? Their mindset is if, oh, I don't want to hurt myself because I'm valuable. I, I want to make sure I get an another contract down the road. So let me just sit out and ease it on up and make sure I get money. That's the mindset. And this is where they lose the respect from the people. This is where we can call you out and say, you don't really love the game. You love the fame and the money. Listen, you dudes got money, man. My God, how much money they got? Are you kidding me? You want me to sit here and act as if it's okay that you play 55 games, 50 games, 60 games, 65 games. I'm supposed to be impressed with that. I told you guys, the NBA should have made the minimum 70 games. That should have been the minimum. 70. Forcing these guys to show up to work. You got to be kidding me. Oh, it's not a big deal they don't play 82 games. Who cares, man? Yo, these guys, you guys are overrating this stuff, man. No. You guys are undervaluing what that means. These guys do not have a true love of the game. They don't respect the game. They're supposed to beat it for 82. Lace them up, fool. Get out there on the court. Push through some pain. Push through some discomfort. Show us to mean it. Give the effort when you're out there. No lollygagging. No lollygagging, man. When a man makes a commitment to a team, he's supposed to honor that commitment. There's no honor. Where's the honor? Where's the pride in playing the 82? Playing 80? Where's the AC Greens at this time? Where are they? A true Iron Man. Where the John Stockton's at? Dude just showed up to work and gave the effort. And cry about it. Everything with these guys is what can affect them off the court. I don't give a damn about you off the court. Show up to work. And when you're on the court, you better give the max effort. That's what we expect of y'all. That's what you do with the love of the game. When I'm out there on the court, guys, ain't no one watching me. I'm out there playing. I'm out there hustling. You got to know the deal, man. That's the love of the game, man. Once again, guys, we must continue to stand up. We must continue to educate. And the facts of the matter is playing, not playing 82 games or trying to play 82 games or downplaying the significance of playing 82 games Right? The true, real basketball fans, you guys understand what I'm talking about here, man. Back in the day, like I said, guys took pride in showing up to work, man, and putting in the effort. My God, you can see it on the video footage. Now the feeling ain't the same. This is why all these things that I've had to change to keep these guys honest. Right? The load management guidelines, the flopping guidelines, the in-season tournament, a play-in and now you have to play a minimum of 65 games to qualify for an accolade, a title. 65 game minimum. It's, like I said, it should be 70. Let me know if you guys feel about that, man. I think it should be 70. But whatever, you people can say, hey, you're an old head, man. You just want people to go to work. Yeah, my bad. I want people to show up, man. Dudes are getting paid millions of dollars. Millions of dollars, man. Millions of dollars from the people. They don't want to show up to work. Not to mention all the money these guys are making off the court, man. Just all they're concerned about is the off the court stuff. And that shit have nothing to do with the basketball and us, man. We don't give a damn about that stuff, man. Y'all need to show up. And like I said, when you out there, give the effort, man. My goodness. Crazy. You know the deal, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.